We're often taught when dealing with narcissistic people, the best defence is to recognise their games and no longer play, to ignore them. However, it's not an easy task when it comes to dealing with narcissists, as they will often escalate their games in order to gain that reaction from you because they have that belief that they are special, that belief that they're important and they're seeking that validation from you and it can be extremely draining to deal with and challenging and frustrating. When it comes to a narcissistic individual, of course, they much prefer praise, admiration and recognition. However, they don't like rejection. Not many people do like rejection. However, most people internalise it and wonder where they went wrong and go all out to work to improve who they are as a person. Narcissistic individuals go all out to suck you back in and then try to be the one who rejects you. When it comes to narcissists, if they can't get that positive attention, they will go all out to gain that negative reaction from you. And it, it helps them validate that they're the victim in the story because as soon as you react negatively towards them, they twist it, they play the victim, they go all out and show people and gain that sympathetic attention. They love to provoke you in front of an audience or via message so that they can ruin your reputation. When it comes to dealing with a narcissist, one of the easiest ways to begin to learn to ignore them is by recognising that by responding to them actually hurts you more than it does them. In the moment when you fire that message back at them, when you scream at them, when you shout at them, when you tell them as it is, when you tell them what, you're, what they're doing, what you think of them, it feels good to sort of release that. <laughs> However, with a narcissist, it's not going in. They don't compute. They're just, what's your problem? Are you having a bad day? Are you talking about yourself again? Oh, you must be talking about them because you're not describing me at all. And they also feel smug. They've got you. They've got that attention from you. They've got what they wanted. They've wound you up. They've annoyed you. It's just evidence in their mind that they've ruined your day. And often they have because then we walk away and we're all pent up and frustrated and angry. They've got what they wanted. They might prefer the admiration, but if they're not getting that, they will gain your anger and your negative reaction. So the best way to learn to ignore a narcissist is to recognise that by responding to them, might feel good in the moment, but it actually hurts you more than it ever will them. Get it out when they're not there. Scream at a wall. Because when you're screaming at a narcissist, you might as well be screaming at a brick wall. Scream at a brick wall when no one's around. Punch a pillow. Take some boxing classes. Go for a run. Write it out. Get it out of your system any way you can other than to the narcissist. Limit your interactions with them at all costs to your emotional, psychological and physical health, to protect your psychological, physical and emotional health. Avoid any unnecessary conversations, encounters, interactions with them. Now, what you will notice is when you recognise them for who they are and you bump into them and you're like, ah, I'm avoiding you, not talking to you, they're going to get offended. Oh, they're ignoring me. Oh, what have I done to offend them? They're going to play the victim with everybody else. Stay out of it. A narcissistic individual will happily go around spreading lies and rumours about you. And then when you stop talking to them, they get offended. They, they don't see what they did wrong. You're the ignorant one. You're the selfish one. You're the one that doesn't care. Stay out of it. Let other people deal with them if they wish to. You don't need to. Boundaries, those emotional, physical and psychological boundaries from the narcissist in order, in order to protect your sanity 
basically. When it comes to them, try and focus on something else. Don't let them live in your head around three. They might crop up now and again, but take your focus on to something else. And just like when you walk into a room for something and then you get in there and because you thought about something else en route, you're like, what did I come in here for again? And you walk out and then, <laughs> then you remember. So when it comes to the narcissist, when they pop into your head, think, I might want to think about that, but I'm not going to. I actually need to think about what I'm doing tomorrow and then plan tomorrow's events out. And if they crop back into your head, start thinking about something else or just get back into the present moment of what you're doing in the present moment. Lots of self-care, lots of activities that bring you joy, bring you peace, whatever they are, whether they are painting, writing, whether it's musical, whether it's exercise, whatever it is that brings you joy, reading a good book, socialising with good friends, learning a new skill. And when it comes to learning a new skill, most people, even if they have a natural talent, aren't that great to begin with. And it's, it's how we naturally build our confidence by learning from our mistakes, recognising we make mistakes, complimenting other people when they achieve something, when they do well and recognising that we can do the same. Finding the right support for you, finding someone who is supportive or finding that hobby that you can go to when when the narcissist is winding you up to release the anger, release the frustration in a healthy way. Ignore the narcissist if they come acting like nothing ever happened, if they come with the insincere apologies or the insincere praise or if they come at you with any form of provo provocation, if they're looking to bait you into an argument recognize you know what you want from me you're not having it and then leave them to and remember your worth remember your worth to your worth being treated with respect and honesty and if if people aren't willing to treat you in those manners if people aren't willing to be honest and respectful and kind towards you. Yes, we can all have our moments. But if people are willing to lie to you, cheat on you, deceive you, use you and abuse you, they are not the people for you. And you have every right to cut them out of your life, no matter what it is they're saying about you. Other people will figure it out in their own time. You cannot make, make people see what they don't want to hear. If anyone has any thoughts on this video or anything that helped them ignore a narcissistic individual, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support of the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsor. The link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go no contact, how to create boundaries around a narcissistic individual who has no respect for your boundaries, and a narcissist handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse. They'll also be in the description if you'd like to go and check them out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.